Now we're subtracting hundredths from tenths. So first we have 0.2 minus 0.02. We can write this out as a column subtraction, making sure that the numbers are written out with the decimal points lined up. Because if the decimal points are lined up, then the ones, tenths and hundredths columns will be lined up as well. Now we have an empty square here, but we can write a zero in this empty square, because you can always write a zero on the end of a decimal without changing the number. So 0.2 tells us that we have two tenths, but all the zero on the end tells us is that we don't have any extra hundredths, so 0.20 is the same as 0.2. Now we can copy the decimal point down into our answer and subtract using column subtraction. We can't do 0 minus 2, so we go to the left, 1 less, 1 in front, 10 minus 2 is 8, 1 minus 0 is 1, and 0 minus 0 is 0, so our answer is 0 0.18. Now we have 0 0.5 minus 0 0.06. So again, we write the numbers out with the decimal points lined up. We can write a zero in this empty square because 0 0.50 is the same as 0 0.5, so we haven't changed the question. But now we can copy the decimal point down into our answer and subtract using column subtraction. We can't do 0 minus 6, so we go to the left, 1 less, 1 in front, 10 minus 6 is 4, 4 minus 0 is 4, and 0 minus 0 is 0, so that gives us 0 0.44. So let's think about what we did here. We started with 0 0.2, so that's 2 tenths, but if we change those tenths into hundredths, we have 20 hundredths, so we could write 0 0.20. So now, when we're taking away 2 hundredths, that leaves us with 18 hundredths, or 0 0.18. And for this question, we started with 0 0.5, so that's 5 tenths. But 5 tenths is the same as 50 hundredths, so when we take away 6 hundredths, that leaves us with 44 hundredths, or 0 0.44, as our answer. We can also show the subtraction using place value counters. So with 0 0.2, we have 2 tenths, but we want to take away 2 hundredths. To do that, we need to exchange one of our tenths for 10 hundredths. That's why we did the exchanging to show 1 tenth, and that gave us 10 hundredths. So when we took away 2 hundredths, we were left with 1 tenth and 8 hundredths, or 0 0.18. Then for this question, we started with 0 0.5, so 5 tenths, but we wanted to subtract 6 hundredths. So we exchanged one of our tenths for 10 hundredths. That meant that we could subtract 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 hundredths to give us 4 tenths and 4 hundredths, or 0 0.44. Now we have 0 0.45 minus 0 0.3. Again, we need to write the numbers out with the decimal points lined up, because if the decimal points are lined up, all the other place values in the question will be lined up as well. Now, we can write a zero in this empty square, because 0 0.30 is the same as 0 0.3. Now, we copy the decimal point down into our answer. 5 minus 0 is 5, 4 minus 3 is 1, and 0 minus 0 is 0, so we get 0 0.15. Now we have 0 0.58 minus 0 0.5. We have our decimal points lined up. We can write a 0 in this empty square and copy the decimal point down into our answer. 8 minus 0 is 8, 5 minus 5 is 0, and 0 minus 0 is 0 so we get 0 0.08. Again, we can show what we did. We started with 0 0.45, so that's 4 tenths and 5 hundredths. We were subtracting 0 0.3, 
So if we take away three tenths, that leaves us with one tenth and five hundredths, or 0 0.15. We could also show one tenth and five hundredths as fifteen hundredths. Then we had 0 0.58, so five tenths and eight hundredths, and we were subtracting 0 0.5. So if we subtract 5 tenths, that leaves us with just 8 hundredths, or 0 0.08. We can also show the subtraction using place value counters. With 0 0.45, we have 4 tenths and 5 hundredths. Subtracting 0 0.3 means taking away 3 tenths, so that leaves us with 1 tenth and 5 hundredths. Then we had 0 0.58, so 5 tenths and 8 hundredths, and subtracting 0 0.5 means taking away 5 tenths. That leaves us with just 8 hundredths. Thank you so much for watching, I really hope that was helpful. If you're a teacher or a parent then please subscribe or go to keystage2maths.com to download resources for this lesson and many more. That's all for now, I'll see you in the next video.